Hey guys, Ryan with Burton Snowboards uh, at, here at Bob Chalet again. Uh, we're going to talk some Burton binding tech. Um, we're going to go over EST versus reflex versus non-Burton bindings. Um, so essentially our EST bindings are a baseless binding system. Our reflex binding is a binding that has a flexible disc in the middle. Um, and then non-Burton bindings don't have any flex underfoot. Um, so the advantages to having an EST binding, um, it mounts exclusively to boards with the channel. So if you have a four hole or an insert board, um, you're going to want to avoid the EST binding um, as it only mounts to the channel. Um, what this does is it allows for ultimate flex underfoot. So you can see how easily the board bends underneath that binding because there's no plastic there. Reflex, we have a flexible disc. This disc allows you to mount to three hole, four hole, um, and the channel as well too. So this will mount to any snowboard uh, that you can find to mount up. Um, again, with that flex underfoot, it's going to allow for a better flex in the board as you're riding, uh, give you a much better natural feel. And then we move to a non-Burton binding. Um, this has no flex in the disc whatsoever. Um, and you can see that it's a much harder to flex through the plastic there um, than the, the two Burton bindings. So, you know, if you're looking to pick up a Burton binding, um, first thing to check is what type of board you have. If you have a non-Burton, a board that's an older Burton or a non-Burton, you're going to want to look at reflex bindings. Um, if you have a board that has the channel on it, EST is going to be the best option. But if you want, you can also mount the reflex to it as well. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like these videos and want to see more, please subscribe to Bob Sports Chalet on YouTube.